over to basketball now where the Idaho State women's basketball team looked for their first conference win of the season this afternoon against Portland State after starting the conference out 0-4 this season. And this kid, she's ready for basketball, and basketball she will get. Third quarter, Bengals lead by 10, and Frey and Newton hits the tray ball, making it 43-30 to ISU. Fast forward less than a minute to go in the third. The Bengals lead by four, and it's Brooke Blair with the dribble drive to the hoop for the layup. It's 54-48 Bengals. And then in the fourth quarter, check out the defense by Anna Lee Policiccio, followed up by the Bengals offense as Blair gets it to Epiphany Woods, who hits the pull-up jumper, putting the Bengals up by four. Four. Things would start getting a little crazy though as Pia Jahar hits the tray ball, pulling the Vikings to within three points with less than a minute to go. And then she would get the board and the put back to pull her team to within one. Later on, Woods would get fouled, so she goes to the line, but she misses both free throws with less than 10 sec seconds to go. She told me she'd be in the gym tomorrow working on the free throws. But that miss gave the Vikings one last chance, and luckily for the Bengals, they missed the shot. ISU would go on to win the game 71 to 70. Here's what Woods had to say about that last shot. I was literally going to throw up. <laughs> I literally felt sick. <laughs> that's, that's just how I felt. The things I really see on offense is improving is handling uh, presses and pressure. You know, we only have 17 turnovers against Sac State, and today we only have 14 against a team that pressured us the whole game. And, um, that's nice to see. We've, we've definitely come a long way since the last time we played Weber when we had 31 turnovers. ISU's next game will be on the road on Saturday when they take on Weber State.